Hello, my celestial kings and queens. This is Mystic Storm here to clear the path to a new life with you. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far and that you're gearing up for the weekend. It's almost around the corner. It is Friday Eve, okay? Thursday, Jupiter Day, Expansion Money Day, Prosperity okay and speaking of prosperity make sure you check out my product okay it's on msbotanica.com for mystic storm botanica my website is in the link tree in the description or bio that way you can check out my product of intention tea light candles oils and bath salts there and in addition to prosperity i do have self-love and protection uh, kits available okay as well as my services you have uh, tarot and oracle card readings astrology readings as well as reiki healing okay so yeah it's just it's just building up i got you in any way possible okay <laughs> and yes 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 we're gonna get into this card here we are still in the gemini moon however we are transitioning into the cancer moon prepping for the new moon in cancer on tomorrow but the can uh, but the moon trans transitions into cancer at 8 51 a.m today so keep that in mind the water the tides might be high starting now okay and huh with this card number 11 it's persistent drive we go from 7 to 11 okay you see that <laughs> from yesterday if you missed it go check out the uh last daily uh spirit message but this one is 11 persistent drive see what you desire and move toward that goal it is time to zero in on your purpose wow wow go check out the last <laughs> daily spirit message it says use your intuition and instincts to guide you for your for the optimal outcome yeah so we're zero zeroing in on this cancer new moon because like i said before this is a moon that is here to cleanse and restore and prep us for the remainder of the year okay whatever we, whatever we've been sowing it's about to it's about to really bloom and blossom so we can have that harvest right and we probably picked up some weeds along the way you know have got a little crab grass here and there and we got to cleanse that shit out and to make sure that we have what we need in order to sustain us for the um the winter, the dark night of the soul, the feminine energy, okay? The shadow self. We we got to get prepared and strapped for that. So this is whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever goals you have in place, you have to make sure you you is tunnel vision. Look, Coda, they don't like to see you win, and they want to see you in a penitentiary. You got to have to keep that tunnel vision. I know y'all know that song. I can go on. <laughs> but yeah, have that tunnel vision. Okay? So, for your new moon manifestations, I don't think this is a time to slack on this. Okay? Especially since we're in a new paradigm. We're already, we're in the second half of 2021. So you have to come correct now. You know, you had some, the first half you had like, you know, some time to work on it. But you got to come correct in order to see the rest of this year through. Okay, to do what you need to do to over here to prosper and manifest. Okay, so yeah, get clear on what you want you might like you might have some indecisiveness right with that gemini energy you might have many choices you might be looking at different sides of the spectrum even with this number 11 here is giving me that gemini kind of symbol right you might have two different ways you're going use your intuition use the guidance from your spiritual team use your ancestors work with your ancestors if you don't have an ancestor altar up maybe if you put some water out and some food and light a candle for them you, you know you might be able to hear them clear you know if you just sit down and just meditate for five minutes you know listen to some sound healing do what you need to do to clear your mind so you can get you can be a clear vessel 
from what spirit is trying to bring to you. Be vigilant on the signs and the messages that you get from day to day because this is prepping you for you to be clear and keep going so you can manifest what you want for the rest of the year. Okay, so I hope you all take this, expand on it on this Thursday and you run with it. Okay, prepping for the new moon. Okay, remember, you can do workings for the new moon three days prior, during or three days after. So if you don't do anything on Friday, it's okay. After I just said all this stuff, you like, oh, I ain't got my shit together. It's okay. You cause he he you got some you got some time to work it in because you need the time to you know get yourself together and get clear on what you really want so you can be clear when you're writing your petitions or um your new moon manifest in your, in your new moon manifestation journal or whatever you're doing in order to state what you're wanting to bring in right now so you're good you're golden just keep at it okay (laughs) i love you all i hope y'all have a wonderful day and i'll catch you in the next one